Welcome to the channel and welcome to 8th edition Warhammer 40k at Space Marines versus Drakari. So Paul has returned to the channel with his Dark Eldar Force, the Cabal of the Last Hatred, and this will be a 1750 point battle report. And uh, we're playing Cleanse and Capture. That's the game where you get three tactical cards every turn. Say hi, Paul. Hey. What's with the shades? Dark Eldar again, isn't it? Dark Eldar again. And uh, the Dark Eldar have picked uh, this. It's going to be Hammer and Anvil, I believe it's called. 24 inches up this side is Dark Eldar. 24 inches up that side is the Space Marines. And there's three objectives down in this deployment zone. And Paul got to pick deployment zone. So he's got this one with the three objectives in there's one in the middle, and then there is two up here. Obviously this ruined temple um, is a critical objective, as well as this bit of ruin and this bit of ruin. And looking across the battle grid, there's quite a lot of cover. Models in ruins get plus one cover. Models in craters, plus one cover. So plenty of cover around the battle grid today. A couple of other things for the first time on the channel. I will be bringing my uh, new Primaris Space Marines, the second company of the 13th, will be deploying for the first time. And for the first time, we will be using Codex Space Marines, following Ultramarines chapter tactics today. That gives me plus one leadership, and when I fall back, I can also shoot. That's right, chapter tactics are back, and in this battle report, we'll get to see them for the first time. I'm also hoping I get to use a couple of the new stratagems that uh, you get in the codex as well because there's lots and lots of stratagems. There's like 20 of them in there. So I should be able to use a couple of different stratagems rather than just re-rolling a dice roll or something like that. So with that in mind, let's go and have a look at these armies. This is 1,750 points worth of Space Marines. It's a single battalion detachment I've got. That gives me six command points to play with. And Warlord for the army is... Uh, Captain Civitas Kane for the first time on the channel. Um, I've given him the Warlord trait Iron Resolve, which puts his wounds up to seven, and his relic is the Santic Halo, which gives him a three up and vulnerable save. So a three up and vulnerable save with seven wounds. He's an absolute beast. He's got a lieutenant helping him out, and also a tech marine from the original 13th also joining them today. And then we have some intercessors, I believe they're called interceptors, and some hell blasters here. Everyone following Ultramarine Chapter Tactics. Uh, there's a unit of Devastators, three large cannons, and a heavy bolter in there. I, I'm bringing along the heavy bolter quite simply because I want to use a command point to fire a hellfire shell. And hellfire shells do D3 mortal wounds every time you fire them. But they do cost a command point. And then three units of tactical marines. There's a flamer or combi flamer in each squad and twin assault cannons on top of the Razorbacks there. I'm bringing twin assault cannons on Razorbacks because Lawrence from Tabletop Tactics say, tells me that they're a good idea and Lawrence can play this game much, much better than I. And then a predator for the first time because I've seen them in other battle reports and they seem to do very, very well. So I'm bringing a predator along. Basically, long range dacker, long range dacker, medium range dacker and some new guys to see how I do and looking across at the Dark Eldar list it's a very strong Dark Eldar list let's go and check it out this is 1750 points worth of Drugari it's a single battalion detachment as well and uh, look at all those vehicles basically high toughness all the way along the lines uh, Warlord is an Archon did you give him anything? nope Bare bones. Bare bones are coming with a slith. So he's got a two up shadow field. Mm -hmm. And if he fails it, he can roll a two up and take his wound. So for every wound he fails, which is a two up, he then takes a mortal wound on a two up and he doesn't take the wound. Two up re-rollable shenanigans going on there. Mm -hmm. And then the second warlord is this homunculus here. And he makes the racks grotesques. What are they called? Racks. Racks. Toughness. Five. five. Anything... With the homunculus coven special rule within six inches of him is toughness five. So toughness five racks, which is interesting because a venom's toughness five. They're as tough as the vehicle that they uh, come in. I don't know if a raider is toughness Actually, five. No, they're toughness six, aren't they? Raiders are toughness six. And that's I what think. they're coming in. Yep. Uh, three units of cavalites. Three more venoms. You said you've only paid. Toughness five. 
Toughness five raiders. Toughness five raiders. Toughness five raiders. Toughness five venoms. Toughness six ravages. Then. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, three units of cavalites blaster in each. I see a blaster, uh, blaster there. Yeah, apart there. from the ones which are in the blaster there. Raider. The ones in the raider are just no blaster. Non blastery. Okay, and only one splinter cannon on all the venoms. Yes, so just split, the one. So splinter rifles and splinter cannons. Raiders, what have they all got? Dark lances? Dark lances, dark lances on the uh, razors as well. And razor wings for the first time. So dark lances, dark lances on the raiders, dark lances everywhere. Uh, so minimum guys running around all over the place. But lots of resilience as far as Dark Eldar is concerned. And lots of long range DACA. Um, I've got less drops than you. I should beat you to the drop. I should be able to go first. Let's go on to deployment. This is what the table looks like after deployment and the 13th are up this uh, uh, end of the table. Kane is down there next to his trusted lieutenant and the tech marine. Finally, the 13th have been reinforced. It has been a long time. We've been on our own for thousands and thousands of years, hunted and despised by the rest of the galaxy, but the Indominus Crusade is over. Ubuti Gulliman is here. And the 13th have been reinforced by the new ranks of the Primaris Space Marines. The second company are here. So we have intercessors holding down this objective, hell blasters on that objective. Uh, 15 tactical marines in these three um, razorbacks here and the devastators up there. The only thing in reserve, of course, are the intercessors. Interceptors. The interceptors. They're intercessors. The interceptors coming in from high altitude orbit and every single one of the dark elder are on the table paul actually deployed some of his guys from his venoms on foot in ruins because we have some ruins here and some ruins there so he wants these units holding down these objectives which allows his venoms which are here 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 free movement to go move around all over the place and wreak havoc this is the one with his warlord in it and succubus and then we have a raider and the three ravagers forming up a wing on this side of the table. I'll not lie to you, there's a considerable amount of Drukhari gun here. They'll be able to light up this battlefield. It's a case of uh, the space marines striking first and trying to take out a couple of these vehicles before they get wiped out. So, Paul, do you want to try and steal? Steal yeah, is bad. You shouldn't. No, man. I'm evil. <laughs> <laughs> evil Paul, rolling the six. It's a two. It's a two. The orders for the 13th in turn one are to get in the enemy deployment zone because objective three and objective five are right back there amongst the Drukhari lines and psychological warfare that the Xenos know what real fear is. Here we are after the movement phase with the Space Marines in turn one, and I need these two objectives back here. So the Inceptors have landed here. Gonna put some firepower down and hopefully charge and score objective five, this objective here. The other one that I needed is objective three, as far back as far back can be. So as that is the case, the only thing else I have to do is psychological war warfare, make some of these pointy-eared Xenos scum run away and try and get first blood. So there's Castle of uh, Tanks is moving around. Um, Kane and the Lieutenant are all within six inches of the devs and this vehicle, this vehicle and this vehicle, but not that one. And that's it, the incessors here moving up. Hellblasters staying still. Actually, I should move the Hellblasters a little bit, might be able to see. Their range is really good. Time out, time out. Time in. The Hellblasters are, have moved round and they are within 30 inch range of that Ravager there. At least four of them are. Hellblasters, Interceptors, Incessors. I will get this wrong. I'm not used to the second company yet. I'm not used to being reinforced, aided and abetted by the Imperium in general. Okay, let's go on to the shooting phase. Opening up hostilities. Hello, cat. Um, the Inceptors. I want to charge these guys, so I'm not going to fire at them. Instead, I'm going to fire at the Ravager. And that's 18 shots, hitting on threes. That's a lot of twos. That was 11 hits. Strength 5, toughness 6, right? A Ravager? Yeah. Okay. 
Fives to wound. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, five wounds there. That SM bat report logo lives to six. It's minus one to your save, though. So five saves. Five out two. Three. So, yeah, and you take two wounds. Right, it's down to eight wounds, and now four of these hell blasters can fire at it, hitting on threes. Strength seven. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, two five up in bun, sir. Takes one, so it's down to seven, seven. wounds left. Still got a way to go. Hmm. Right, we'll get back to you. Let's let's fire some other stuff. Let's fire. Razorback number one, the unassisted Razorback, the one that hasn't got rerolls to hit and rerolls to wound. I'm going to fire that at these group of Cabalites because I'm looking for um, uh, the runaway one. What's the runaway one called? Morale thing. Morale thing. Looking for the morale thing. Twin assault cannon. Twelve shots. I moved, so I'm hitting on fours. Nice. Uh, and this is strength six versus toughness. Three. What's the toughness star Kaldar? One or something, isn't it? Oh, I know a wound you on twos. Six, seven, seven. There we go. So that's lots of wounds. Eight wounds there. Uh, you get plus one to your armour because you're in the ruin, but minus one to your armour because it's an assault cannon made from the Emperor's finest titanium and holy rounds. Eight wounds to save with a five up paltry armour Xenos save. So you failed two. You've got six left. With a six up Xenos Witchcraft. They're all dead. I didn't want them all to die. I wanted one left alive, so you fail your morale test. This is not in the script. You've got to fire crappier guns at them. <laughs> <sighs> okay, first blood at least. All right, back to the Devastators. Absolutely want that Ravager, Ravager dead there. So I'm going to fire three of the last cannons from the Devastator squad at him. And... Uh, the heavy bolted down at that venom there. So three last cannons hitting on threes, re rolling once, and of course I roll two twos. <laughs> Wounding on threes, re rolling ones because of the location of the lieutenant. That's a six. That wounds, you get a five up in bun on your thingy bob, Xenos deck, which you make, so it didn't matter much anyway. And then this guy spending a command point to shoot at that with a hellfire round. This is going to be improved by the Signum, so I'll hit on a two, but re-rolling ones. So hit, one. hitting on a two, hitting on a three because it's a Venom, you're right, hitting on a three. Don't roll a two, there's a one, so now I need a three up. And I rolled a two. So that's a command point down straight away, but if that would have worked, that would have been D3 mortal wounds on the Venom. Coming around here, then the intercessors have already put a wound on this raider, and now this razorback is gonna fire at them. This one's already fired, this one now firing over here, hitting on fours and re-rolling ones. Nine hits, strength six, toughness five, wounding on threes, that's drop dice. And re-rolling those three ones there. That's pretty good. That lieutenant coming into full effect, causing eight wounds on that raider. Minus one to your save, so eight five up in vulnerable saves. And you save two of them, so it takes six more wounds off that raider. Then the last raider back, all it can shoot at is that venom there. Everything else out of range. Now it moves, so it's hitting on four, and because it's a venom, I'm hitting on fives. But because of my captain, I'll be re-rolling ones. So fives to hit. There is A1, and that actually converted. That was five hits, threes to wound. There's a couple of twos again. So that's two wounds, so uh, three wounds, sorry, three, three saves. Three invulnerable saves. And you save one, one, so it drops down two wounds. All right, the last thing left fires my Predator, so I'm gonna put the two Laos cannons into that and the Predator Auto Cannon into the wounded Ravager back there. Getting greedy, but uh, need to kill these vehicles. So two Laz Cannons into that. This is forced to hit, re-rolling ones because of came. And there's the two again. So that's one hit. Uh, wounds on a three. That's a wound with a five up in vulnerable save. So please fail. And you failed. Right, you've got four wounds left. This does D6 damage. Yeah. Um, so I need a four plus. Damn. 
Only one more wound. Then the Predator Auto Cannon. Four shots hitting on threes. And that's all hitting. And this is strength seven, toughness six, so wounding on threes. And I get to re-roll that one because of the li uh, lieutenant. No, only three wounds. It's minus one to your save. So three five up saves. And you fail all three. Each of these does three damage each. So that's nine damage. And it doesn't blow up, it just gets removed and that's second blood. And I think I fired everything I can fire. So I killed a unit of guys on foot. I killed a Ravager and that's it. A lot of firepower going into this Venom here, but it's jinking right and left. Not damaged at all. So now, now I want to sort these Gavalites. Who get to Overwatch? Overwatch. The Inceptors incest your squad. These guys, they survived the Overwatch from the Cabalites here, but Paul did get a six to hit with, with blaster. a blaster. And then he rolled a one to wound, and then he burned his first command point and rolled another one to wound, so they definitely survived the Overwatch. Now I need a nine inch charge for the Emperor. That's eight Screw command point. <laughs> Do not say screw the Emperor. Uh, Wash your mouth out with soap. <laughs> Bad man. Four up, I make this charge. Need this objective. Damn. <laughs> so now we've reached the end of turn one and I haven't scored psychological warfare. I haven't taken objective five and I haven't taken objective three. So I've got nothing apart from first blood. These command points, they don't like it when you mess with the space time continuum. When you do things with the force. So it's one point to zero. I'm going to have to ditch one of those cards. I'm definitely going to ditch Secure Objective 3. I think that's going to go. And I've barely neutered any of the firepower, which is about to smash back at me. So let's go into the bad guys. Here are the Dark Eldar objectives in turn one. Shoot something to death and scour the skies is basically kill those inceptors. Why jump dudes? Kill them. You get some points. Hold the line cannot be scored in turn one. Unbelievably fat, but also rather cute. Yeah, I'm talking about you. So here we are after the Drukari movement phase. Quite a lot happened. Remember, they can't get hold the line. That is scour the skies and then shoot something. And if they kill three or more units, that'll be D3 points. But lots of stuff happened. The Archons got out here. He's mindful that I have psychological warfare in my hand. So I think everything within six inches of the Archon uses his leadership instead of their leadership. And this squad was in the Raider, was it in the Raider? Yeah. And they got out. Disembark 3, move 7. Um, these Dark Eldar are nifty little creatures. They're quite quick on their little... Um, they're quite quick, quite nimble, like ballerinas. These ones advanced, apparently, because they couldn't get out all the way. And anyway, they're in there, they're in there. Another unit jumped out of the injured Venom and got in this one to be close to that objective. And the Venom's hopped all the way over. The vehicles are pretty quick, too. Ravagers scooting around here and the two flyers making their way up the table. Essentially, a lot of tactical reposition. He's covering the two objectives. Um, no, these guys didn't get out. That's the one that I failed to charge against. Mm. They've tucked Cut, themselves in. They've bit. tucked themselves in a bit. Okay. So, yeah. Um, lots of tactical repositioning here, there, and everywhere. And I'm bracing myself for the firepower that's about to wash into my lines. You look confused. Uh, no, it's not. It's just when you said that, uh, about like, uh, the, you know, the firepower that's coming, it all comes down to dice, doesn't it? So, I, I, yeah. Are you saying you don't feel lucky, punk? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Not with these sweet jemmy dice, no. I gave you the cursed dice. You gave me the cursed dice. All right. On to the shooting phase. Right. The only Can I interrupt one... you one more time? Because yeah, sure. the internet will kill me if I don't ask you. What socks do you have on today? <laughs> uh, my, my Hulk socks. <laughs> Hulk smash. Hulk is in the house. Hulk smash. Okay, the pistol from the homunculus was fired in here. Hasn't done anything. And then this guy, the cannon's in rapid fire. Range six shots. And then the splinter rapid fire thing, it's rapid fire two, right? Yeah, it is. Isn't in the 12 inch range, so that's eight shots. We're rolling it all together because it's all poison four up. And you get seven hits. Force to wound. And that's six wounds. And even though these are toughness five, the gravis armor not keeping me safe there. 
six three up eggs. Um, I, I made them all, Paul. I made them all. Did, SM Battle you? Report logo is a six. I made them all, Paul. So it was eight shots from this one, but it's five shots from that one into these guys. One more time. And you hit with four and force to wound. You should get two wounds here. And you get no zero wounds. wounds here. The cursed die is coming into effect. There's a reason why I put those dice in my spares box. You forgot your dice today, didn't you? Yeah, certainly did. You did, so It'll you've got my, my spare for. dice. And my spare dice. Ah, uh, cursed to me. What, that this one will one? get 10. This one will get 10. Okay, go for it. I know what you want. Come on, then. Are you going to five? That's the wife. She's going to feed yeah, the cat. <laughs> Two wings. Two wings. Two wings. Two three-up saves. I failed both that time, and one of them dies because they have two wounds each. Sorry about all that noise in the background because the cat's gone. My wife has uh, called the cat away to feed my pussy, basically, because um, I kept treading on him and kicking him. So a fed pussy is a happy pussy. What are we doing now? Fire from there. Fire from there. Into these guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you get two hits, sir. And Nothing. you get no wounds. So, so far, four venoms firing in and you've only killed one insect. Or Inceptor? I think that's what they call it. So frustrated by his failures, this razor wing is firing everything at the Inceptors. So what's this? This is the uh, twin splinter rifles. Twin splinter rifles. Two hits. Wounds on a... Four. <laughs> and that didn't wound as well. That didn't wound. Can I push this back? Because I carefully measured. That's exactly three, just over three, under three inches to that. So I know that because I don't have to move him next turn, maybe. If I pull out objective one. But if he gets moved by dice, and I have to, yeah. It's like 2.9 inches from him. That's how carefully I measure. Uh, AP minus one. Okay, firing razor wing missiles in assault D6. What type of missile is this? A six. That's a Shatterfield. Shatterfield missile. So that's so six. Threes to hit with a Shatterfield uh, missile. Three, that's three, three hit strength. What? Seven. Seven. Okay. Three's to wound. And it's one wound. Uh, <laughs> it's reroll, reroll fail wounds for this weapon. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Thankfully. So three wounds. Three AP wounds. minus. AP minus one. AP minus one. So their three up save becomes a four up save. And you kill another one. Finally, it has two dark lances. Threes. And this is strength eight. Toughness five. So threes to wound. And it wounds, and it's minus four. Yes. Okay, and it does. They have two D damage. Two so it does D six or one. <laughs> roll a one for me. No, and you do kill him. So that is overwhelming firepower and scale the skies. So all four venoms and one flyer to take out one insect squad. You've got two raiders left. Your ravagers and another flyer back there, and a target-rich environment. Dark lance from the wounded. Misses. Going in, uh, hits on a three, in on the predator, hits on a four because you're wounded. Wounded, yeah. So with that missed, the predator survives. You've got another dark lance here. Yeah, that's gonna, uh, this guy. Okay, on the razor. And that hits. Strength eight, toughness seven. And that doesn't do it. I like these cursed dice when I'm not rolling them. Ravager number one, firing at this razor back, hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on threes, two wounds, burning straight through the armor, no save whatsoever, 2d6. Five damage, strips off that razor back, just like that. Drops it down to five wounds, and now you're putting all four guns, three guns, into the same one? Uh, I put two guns into the same one, and one into this. Two into that, okay. Two into the win wounded one, two hit, one hit. One hit. Threes to wound, and it wounds, so this will do d6 damage. Four, and it puts that razor back down to one wound left, and then you got one shot in the other one, you said. Yeah. Okay. And a hit, three to wound, and that's a wound, and d6 damage. Three. Three damage. So one wound left, nine wounds, oh, sorry, seven wounds left. The last razor wing firing at the incessors and the predator. What are you firing first? 
the the two the twin twin poison stuff. Twin poison stuff at the incessors. Uh, two hits and one, one wound. wound and one three up save. The gem make. The necrotoxin missile fired and missed, and now two dark lances into the side of the predator. And both hit. This again will be threes to wound and one wound causing d6 damage, stripping five hull points off the predator. And that leaves the predator with six hull points left. And those are the last shots of the Dark Eldar turn. When the smoke clears, all they have done is kill one unit, but that does give them overwhelming firepower and scout disguise, giving it two points, making it two points to the Dark Eldar and only one point to the 13th right now, so it's a close game. Still anyone's to play for. Let's move on to turn two. Here are the orders for the 13th. Hold the line. That should be very easy. I've got three units in my deployment zone right now. Psychological warfare, make them run away. And secure objective five, which I'm miles away from now. I just stitched secure objective three from last turn. This is the end of my moon phase. Nothing moved except for the hell blasters in that window, shuffling around to get as many shots down in on that venom. I am holding the line. I do have three units in my deployment zone. I do need to make some of them run away. There's no way I'm getting to objective five. But I do have some tricks up my sleeve. The second company are here, and we are going to rain down hell from the strike cruiser up above. Let's call in an orbital bombardment. Cost three command points. Let's bring it in. The orbital bombardment is coming in here. Every unit within D6 inches of that point, and that's a one, which will be nothing. So I will use another command point to burn another stratagem, which is to re-roll any Can dice roll. Can you use another command point after yes. you've used that stratagem? Yes, you can't... There's two, there's two things in the same phase, though. You can't use command points to, re, to do the same stratagem, but you can use command points to do multiple stratagems in a turn. So, I need something better than a one. <laughs> this is costing me four command points, this orbital bombardment. It better pull off. Damn. And the blank shell comes in there and just kicks up some dust and that's all it does. And Paul's asking me what it does. What does it do? That cost me four command points to fire that blank shell there. But let's say I rolled a six. Every unit within six inches or D6 yeah. suffers D3 mortal wounds. So D3 mortal wounds, D3 mortal wounds, D3 mortal wounds on a four up. I still then need to roll to wound that one. So a four for that one wouldn't have been wounded. Four on that one wouldn't have been wounded. Four on that one wouldn't have been wounded. At five, because that's a character, would have been wounded. That's how it went. And you keep rolling a dice and on a four up they suffer D3 mortal two. wounds. You see, I like the vi I like the idea of an orbital bombardment, but thinking about it, there's so many variables. Once it's D6 inch range, right? Right? Mm -hmm. yeah, then that's... it's a 50-50 chance that it actually does something. And it's a five plus to wound anything with a character. So one, you've got the range, two, it's a 50-50 chance, and then even if you get a mortal wound, it's a D3, you could just do one wound. So yeah. there's nine models there, nine units there, and in the end I might have done one to that one, one to that one, and two to that, and that's three it's to that one. Because you were looking at least, you needed four up just to hit a couple, yeah. Yeah, and six to get all of them. Whereas if, like, say you were over here, you know, you're only looking at two, three inches, and you're hitting, you're hitting like five units. Yeah, but well, you're not though. You still got to roll a fifty-fifty to hit it, and then it's still D three mortal wounds. Yeah, but so you're do, not necessarily hitting. But doing something like that, I mean, you still got a chance of smashing characters. But it's a five plus to hit a character. If it lands there, then it's only a one in three chance of a doing five plus, a character, it's, it's and then it's D three mortal wounds, and that still isn't enough to kill a character unless he's already win wounded, because there's no characters that have three wounds. All the characters have four or five or higher yeah. wounds. He's got seven wounds. Your <laughs> Archon's got five wounds with a two up and vulnerable save, or six. What I'm saying is it's too random, I don't like it. Right, moving on, let's shoot some stuff. Steaming Injured Razorback, shooting this Steaming Injured raid Raider. I'm hitting on five, so because I've only got one wound left. And that's a few fives. Rerolling ones. Okay, that did an extra hit. So six hits in total on that one. It's strength five, toughness of a raider is five. And three wounds. 
And you've got three wounds left, so three five up invulnerable saves. You can grab some of my dice, they're not cursed, they'll be fine. So you made one, it's on one wound left as well. Should I heal my predator at the end of the movement phase with the tech marine pause? Let me do it now. D3 back, so that's back up to eight, which is nice. I like that. Um, moving along. So the incessors are going to try and kill this. It's got one wound left. Three's to hit. That's pretty good. Five's to wound. Three wounds minus one AP. Three five up and vulnerable saves on your radar. I said three. Three. Okay, it's dead anyway. Right, right, next Razorback is going to shoot at that fly. You're hard to hit, so this will be forced to hit. And reroll in ones. Of course, I get four twos there. Here's a one, and it causes another two. So great. So only five hits. Strength six, toughness of a flyer six. Forced to wound. One, just one wound, minus one AP. And reroll ones to wound. No, it's still another one. So yeah, four up save. Yeah. Which is, yeah, six. You made it. You made it. Okay, let's fire the second one at the flyer. Fours to hit. Reroll and ones. Fours to wound. Two four up saves makes one of them. So twenty four assault cannon rounds go in on that flyer, causing one wound. One. Right, so up here with my Devastators, the Heavy Bolter is going to shoot down at the Venom and the three LAS cannons are in range of that closest Ravager back there. So let's do the Heavy Bolter, hitting on threes. They all hit, well hitting on fours, but they all hit. And then Strength 5, Toughness 5, wounding on fours. Uh, four wounds on that Venom, please. Minus one to your save. Or three wounds, sorry, three. And that's four sorry. dice. Hey, there you go. You make all of them anyway. I know it's a five up, so yeah, you fail two of them because it's minus one AP, dropping this down to, and it's lost to two wounds. I think it's got four left. And now the three Laz cannons firing downrange, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of him. He's within six inches. Everything hit. And then strength nine, toughness six on a Ravager. Three's to wound, that's three wounds, sir. And it's minus three AP. So three five up and buttons. They do have five up and buttons, yeah. right? None. None. So this is three D six. Hopefully this is the end of a second ravager. It's not the end of a second ravager, eight wounds. Which leaves the predator. So let's chuck I don't know what to do. Let's get really cheeky. Let's put one last cannon into it and then the other last cannon and predator auto cannon into the uninjured one. So, one lance cannon hitting on a three, that's a hit. Wounding on a three, that's a two. See, I'd get to re-roll ones, but I roll a two. So many twos. Okay, let's fire the other Ravager. Last cannon hits, threes to wound, that's a wound. Five up in bun, which you don't make d6 damage, it does two damage. Then the Predator Auto Cannon do d two d3 hits, shots. So that's three shots with the Predator Auto Cannon, hitting on threes. They all hit, wounding on threes. They all wound. Three, five, well, it's minus one to your armor. So those two say. Sorry, I thought it was going to be inverns. I was rolling for inverns. Well, it doesn't so it does one matter. Gets through. Yeah, one gets through and it does three damage. So being greedy back here has cost me, both of these Ravages are still alive and one of them should have been dead. But to be honest, this flyer should have been dead as well. It took 24 assault cannon hits. The only thing left to fire is the Hell Blasters. I shuffled them all around so we are in range and line of sight of that injured Venom there. So this will be five shots with um, the Plasma thingy bob guns hitting on threes. They all hit. It's strength seven, so I'm winning on threes. Four wounds. Four, five up in sound buttons because it's minus four AP. Yeah. And you fail all of them. It doesn't matter if it blows up. Actually, it does because you could be in range of them. It doesn't. Doesn't blow up. So I kill a venom this turn. Is that all I've done? I've killed a venom. Yeah, but you've crippled my my ravages. They're not going to be hitting particularly well now. Killed a venom. I haven't really crippled that flyer. I haven't got anything else left to shoot that is in range. 
or line of sight. I am holding the cathedral down as best as I can. But I don't get psychological warfare. I'm a long, long way from objective five. However, at the end of turn two for the Space Marines, it's two points each. That's gone to Drukari. Turn two. Here are the orders for the Drukari and they're very simple. Hold the lines, pretty much guaranteed point of big game hunter. Kill that Razorback with one wound left. And that's a point. Psychological warfare, make me run away, make me fail a morale test. Trickier. Here we are after the end of the Drukari movement phase and the flyers are crisscrossing over the skies. The Ravagers at the back, both injured, are split up right and left and the Raider with the racks in is breaking forward. They will get hold the line at the end of this phase but they want me to fail a morale test for psychological warfare and there was another thing in their hand. Big game hunter, kill a vehicle with, uh, kill something with 10 or wounds or more characteristics which is basically any one of these. That's on 7, that's on 8, that's on 1. Killing one of these vehicles with all those dark lances should be quite easy. Um, I should have mentioned at the beginning of the game, beer hammer is happening today. <laughs> and uh, cans I'm beginning to feel it, so um, mistakes may happen from this point onwards. <laughs> Hopefully not. Let's go on to the Dark Elder shooting phase. And of course I've said from this point onwards, I'm sure the internet is going to remind me just of how many mistakes we've made already. And the cat's back. Damn. Injured Ravager firing at injured Razorback. What do you hit on now? You're only on fives. two. You hit on fives. Okay, three dice hitting on fives. Are your dark lances? Don't get any. All three hit. Damn it. Okay, three's to wound. And you'll get all three wounds now. Watch. Uh, all no. three don't wound. None of, them, <laughs> none of them wound. Well, that that's justice. I'm right? going to re-roll one of those. Are you going to spend a command point this early on in the shooting phase? I made the mistake of not using them last time. you got five left. I've got one after that. I, I know, the but okay, it only gone. needs one damage to... only needs a three. Yeah. Three and it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It does d6 damage. It's only got one left. On a six, it blows up. <gasps> I'm going to use my last command point to re-roll that because that does d3 damage to everything around it and that could sting. So last command point and it doesn't blow up. That is Big Game Hunter. Five guys inside however. Don't roll any ones. I don't roll any ones. They're not injured. They managed to clamber out of the wreck without any munitions blowing their heads off. Now the tactical squad has boots on the ground. But that is Big Game Hunter. Big Game Hunter? I think I mentioned that already. Who's the what what? Disintegrate cannons, uh, dark lances, sorry, the gun. Yeah, but who the what? What are you doing? This guy. Ravager. This guy. Shooting two of them into that, one into that. Okay, split and fire. What do you hit on now you're injured? This one's hitting on fours. Okay, two shots hitting on fours. And both hit, nice. Uh, wound on threes. And one wound causing d6 damage to that injured Razorback. Causing two. Dropping it down to five. It is now in a crippled state, however. And then the last one, shooting on, hitting on a four, misses. misses. Now the Dark Lance from the Raider, shooting the Razorback. Threes to hit, nope. misses. So that's all your Dark Lance fire from the ground vehicles here. Firing in, you're smashed open one of the Razorbacks, crippled this one. There's still some Dark Lances left on these flyers, however. I am a little bit scared. Then Venom fired in at these guys, didn't hurt them. One of the Venoms over there fired in at this tactical squad and hasn't hurt them. Now the second Venom is firing in at this tactical squad. He's looking for psychological warfare. Threes to hit. And that is terrible. Oh, that was the twos five now. hits. And force to wound. Uh, you get, two and you get two wounds. Again. Have two three up saves. And you actually kill one this time, but it won't be enough to force a morale check yet. The flyers, however yet to speak. Right, this fly here fired splinter cannon, splinter rifles down into there, didn't do any damage. Now he's doing the necrotoxin missile into the tactical squad and the two dark lances are going into the predator. He's doing all he can to try and force a uh, morale test here and kill this predator. So the necrotoxin missile, what does it do? How many shots? It's Assault 6. I didn't realise last time when I did it, it was Assault 6. I only rolled one dice to see I think it you did Assault D6 last time. One of them was. That was the Shatterfield. But when okay. I tried the narrow toxin one on those, I just rolled one dice and thought, oh, did yeah, you? I rolled D6. That's a shame. No, no. But never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living there. Uh, Go yeah. on, then. 
Uh, yeah, so Strength. five hits with your Necrotoxin missile. Strength? Uh, wounds on twos. It's wounds on twos? One. Okay. Five so wounds. five wounds. Does it have any AP? No. Doesn't have any AP. No. So poison clouds, those heroic space marines there, will their holy armour stand firm? Their holy gas masks. Their holy gas mask. One of them drops, but three of them are still left standing, and I'm not pulling him away because I like him. Now Doug lances into the Predators, threes, two hits, threes to wound, don't do it Paul, two wounds, so 2d6 damage, it's on eight left, and seven. That's seven, dropping it down to one wound left. Second fly did exactly the same thing, so the pistols, the splinter rifle thing first, four shots, uh, threes to hit, fours to wound, one wound, does a wound, throw up save, which I make. Okay, and then your Necrotoxin Missile, D6 shots, you said? Assault 6. Assault 6. Uh, is that only two hits? Yeah. Two's to wound. One, One wound. wound with a three up save, which I fail. Damn it, that means my favorite guy's gotta go. Take him away as well, but I quite like this one too. It leaves two left, you are, forcing morale tests. And then two Dark Lancers into him. Three is to hit. <gasps> And they both miss, and you've used your command point for shooting in the shooting phase, and the Predator still lives. And that's the last shot fired in anger this turn. Uh, Paul does get hold the line, and he does get Big Game Hunter. And that's it. So it's four points to the Drukari, and two points to the Space Marines. We're moving on to Space Marines, turn three. Sorry, yeah, thanks for reminding me, Paul. Uh, psychological Warfare, need a morale check on them. Roll a dice and plus three. So three plus three is six. Their leadership currently is eight because I'm an Ultramarine, I'm fine. Space Marine objectives in turn three, they're okay. Defend objective four, I'm already defending, so that's quite nice. Psychological Warfare, still in my hand. I think this is the last turn I can do it before they run away. Scour the skies, kill something with a fly keyword. There's a lot of things out there with a fly keyword. Should be able to get some points here. Okay, here we are after my movement phase, and we're fairly certain it's turn three, but it's all getting a bit hazy. Um, I'm sure I'm going to find out in the editing. I mean, who forgets turn numbers, eh? Whoever does that. Anyway, fairly certain it's turn three. Took a long time. Took a big debate to find out, a mass debate, to find out whether it was turn three or not. We still think it's turn three. It's turn three. Hellblasters defending objective four. There's three models within three inches of objective four. I'm conscious of some charges. Need to hold that for a turn or two, but I've also pulled them round to shoot at some of these flyers. Now, unit in there has got out. Three inches, then move six. There's a flamer in that squad. Flamer there, flamer there. Flyers are hard to hit, but flamers auto hit D6 times. And there's three D6 flamers there with my lieutenant close to these guys for the re-rolling shenanigans. Need to heal the Predator. It's in a cripple state on one or two wounds. Tech Marine heals D3. And he heals it up to four, which is really, really good, because instead of hitting on fives, I'm gonna be hitting on fours. That was critical, that he healed more than one wound. So all the boots are on the ground now, finally. I need to kill something with a fly keyword. Fortunately, there's plenty of things with the fly keyword. I don't think I'm going to get, I don't think I'm going to make anything run away. I don't think I'm going to get psychological warfare, but uh, I'm certainly going to try and make the cabal of the last hatred pay. Right, the Hellblasters are in range. The only thing they can see really and get good shots on is this flyer and three of them are in rapid fire range. So that's a lot of shots coming in on this flyer. Forced to hit because it is going supersonic right now. And that is four hits. Strength seven, toughness six, I think you said earlier. So threes to wound. And that's two wounds. It's minus four AP. You don't get a save unless you've got an inbun. Got a five plus inbun. Have everything you've got got a five plus inbun. Everything. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know if everything is. I'm, Just I, roll two five outs. One. I take one wound off with all that plasma death. That's annoying. Then the only thing the flamers are shooting at is up here. So let's do this squad, which is within six inches of these two. These two guys here are going to shoot at that one. The bolt gun hits on a four. A one hit and it wounds on a five. Rerolling ones, rerolling ones. 
doesn't wound. And then the flamer does d6 auto hits. That's Ooh. six auto hits. Nice. And it wounds on fives, rerolling ones because of the lieutenant. There's two ones. Reroll them. That's three wounds on that flyer. What's his save? Is it a two up rerollable? No, it's uh... three, four up saves. He loses one. Just one. one. So that puts that one, one down to. No, that one. Eight. 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 I'm going to do the okay. same again with this squad, firing at him. Let's yeah. throw a grenade, hitting on a four. <sighs> that misses. Bolt gun death. Let's do bolt gun death. There's bolt guns, fours to hit. That's a bit better. And fives to wound. Three wounds with bolt guns. Three, four up saves, sir. Stop making all those saves. You made them all. Flamer. Auto hits. One auto hit. Wounds on a five. Doesn't wound. So he's only lost one wound so far from those two units. So this guy has to. He's in, They're in range of that. This is on nine wounds. This is on eight wounds. I made sure I put the flamer right at the tip. So he is in range. So I guess this squad will fire at that injured dude. Out of range of grenades though, I think. Don't really care. Just going to fire lots of bolt guns anyway. Because I like the feel of dice in my hand. Fours to hit because you're flying. Look at those twos. I hate twos. Fives to wound. Rerolling ones. Speechlessness. D6 hits with a flamer. Five hits with a flamer. Fives to wound. Rerolling ones. One wound. One four up save. Stop it! <laughs> All of that, and I've done one wound to this flyer. One wound to this flyer. That is highly annoying. At least my captain and my lieutenant get to fire for the first time. Let's see what Kane himself can do. I don't know. Pistol three. Okay, so he hits on threes because you're hard to hit. Yay, and it's strength four, so fives to wound. Rerolling. That's a wound. Can he wound your flyer? Four up safe. Yes. Kane actually tastes blood. Nice. Taste metal. Taste metal. Okay, the lieutenant. Primaris lieutenant. Uh, hits on twos, but threes because you're a flyer. Reroll on ones, and there's a two, and he'll wound on fives, and that doesn't wound as well. That would have done two damage. A master crafted auto bolt rifle would have done two damage, but in the end, eight wounds on this fly, eight wounds on that fly, and I'm beginning to get annoyed. I need more beer. Right, I'm absolutely desperate to kill something with a fly keyword. These guys are going to go into that in the assault phase, but they've probably not got enough to kill it. So let's help them out by firing that Razorback in at this Venom. Because it's wounded, it's hit on fours and re-rolling. He's not re-rolling because he's just out of range of the captain, which means I only get five hits. Strength six, toughness five, threes to wound. I hate twos. Uh, that's four wounds with a minus one to save. Four five ups. And you make one. one of them, so it drops down. How many wounds do they have in total? Six. So it's got three, three left, which might be enough for them to kill it in close combat. So this Razorback here has got line of sight to that closest Razorback there. So he is going to fire, and he is aided by Kane and the Lieutenant. Hitting on fours because of Dark Eldar shenanigans. With the reroll. That was eight hits. And rerolling ones. That's eight wounds. Eight wounds. You can pick them up if you want to. I'll take your other cursed eight, dice. Eight five up saves. The cursed dice have turned. They seem to be working very, very well right now. Oh, these are eight wounds. Eight wounds. AP. AP minus one. Oh, that's a spy. Yeah, it? yeah. And you make three of them, which means it's alive. It's got one, one wound. wound left. There is a storm bolter on top of this thing, though. Know? Rerolling ones. One hit, fives to wound. That's a wound, one four up save. Die! It dies, I killed something with the fly keyword. It blew the closest one and it blows up on a six, which this could one? hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on four wounds anyway. Was it? Yeah, I thought you were about this one. I would have thrown everything I can at that one anyway, so okay, it's definitely gone. dead. Roll a six. Okay, you're okay, it's dead. I killed something with the fly keyword. You don't know how happy that makes me. 
So I would have declared everything for this Razorback on that flyer because I was desperate to kill anything. Now the Razorback can target these two. So two last cannons into this one. Predator auto cannon into that one. Two last cannons hidden on fours. What could possibly go wrong? One hit. Damn sail. <laughs> and a three to wound. And that's a wound. Uh, fails the invun. <gasps> D6 damage. Three. It's on two left. Oh. Didn't kill it. Okay, let's do the Predator Auto Cannon. 2D6 shots. 2D3 shots. That's four shots. I hit on fours. That one's only on two wounds left. Yeah. Hit on fours. Three hits. That's not bad. And I'll wound on threes. Two wounds. Uh, these each do two damage, three damage. So if you sail, fail any of these two five up invulnerable saves, I kill a ravager. Two five up in lungs. And I kill a ravager. Nice. Right, one ravager down. This one left on two wounds. Last thing left to fire. Devastators. On a fire. Two last cannons, including the Zygnum, down at that thing there. And then a Laz cannon and the heavy bolter and all of the bolt guns at one of these flyers. I want to three up, it's that flyer. It's that flyer. Two Laz cannons at the Ravager. Signum hits on the two and the other one. Both hit. Wound on what, minus one? threes. At a Ravager. Oh, I thought you were doing the flyers. Ravager. All right. Both wound. Two five up and vulnerable saves, sir. Don't make them. Fail them both. 2d6. That does three damage. It's got two left. It blows up on a six. Roll a six oh, for me. Here's a dice. Oh, okay. oh, you did roll one. Yeah. I, I trust you. I trust you. you Women and children do not trust you, but I trust you, Paul. Is that harsh? Oh, like I said, you know, I know my stuff's made out of paper. No, about the women and children comment. No, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> So there's six bot guns coming in at that. I just remembered they're within six inches of Kane there and six inches of him. Anyway, bot guns, uh, fours to hit, re-rolling ones. That didn't help. And then five, fives to wound, this flyer, pesky flyer. Fives to wound, re-rolling ones. Two wounds on the flyer. Two saves, two four plus saves. What's, what's shooting it now? These guys, the rest of the shots. Oh, right. I didn't realize. Some that. of the shots were going that way. The other shots were going I'm that way. Plane, yeah. I know, two four outs. Took a wound off. Great. It's good. It's lovely. On this Let's one, do yeah. some... No, with the other one. Okay. That's and then the heavy bolter. Uh, fours to hit. And strength five. So fives to wound. Rerolling ones. That's another wound. Minus one to save. So five up. You save it. Stop doing that. It's going down one of those. Last cannon. Fours to hit. That's a hit. Threes to wound. That's a wound. Minus three. Five up. This does d6 damage. Five damage. Five. Plus the one. One, six, it's down to two. It's down to two. I like it. That looks really uncomfortable reaching all the way across the table like that. No, I've got Mr. Tickle Arms. <laughs> <laughs> two wounds left, and I just realised I didn't fire the incestuous incestors. These guys, the tactical marines that aren't tactical marines, they're going to hit on fours. No re-rolling here, people, but that is still seven hits. And they're going to wound on fives. Two wounds, and it's two mi it's minus one. And you've only got two save left, so two five up, or the flyer crashes and burns. There's one. There's one. One wound left. Not enough gun to take it out of the sky. So at the end of my turn, I've killed a Venom. I've killed both of the Ravagers in the backfield. That is significant, people, but I only get one point for Scout the Skies. It's four points to Drukari, three points to the 13th. Let's go on to Drukari, turn three. Dark Eldar objectives in turn three, they're about to run away with it. Defend objective three, defend objective five, and supremacy. Control any three objectives for D3 points. They've got to hold these for two turns, so his turn and my turn... And objective three and objective five are back here. There's five, there's three. There's very little chance I'll be able to get them and take them off him. All he's got to do is hold them in his turn and hold them at the end of my turn and get two, four points. 
and with supremacy there's already a unit under there on that one as well. Will the Dark Eldar run away with it one more time? Let's find out. Let's descend into turn three. In the Dark Eldar movement phase, there flies across in the sky one more time. This is the one on one the wound left that should be dead. And that's the other one on eight wounds left. And I forgot to charge this unit. It's got a sting. I'm not taking it back. I forgot to charge this unit into the venom that was here. Don't drink beer, guys. Instead, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Drink lemongrass with a splice of ginger and some yak spit instead. Is that another beer can? Yeah. You legend. Um, yeah, and if you drink beer, you'll forget to charge things. So don't drink beer, just drink lemongrass and things. And that venom has gone all the way back there next to the unit on that objective. The other venom went back next to that unit, next to that objective, which he needs to defend. He said, Paul, I asked Paul, why is he pulling stuff back? He said he wants to keep stuff alive. Because if you actually look, there's not a lot left in his backfield. Over here, there was a raider. The unit got out, the racks, and they're there. And then the raider hopped up, and he is here with his heat lance looking down into the castle. It looks like some grotesques want to charge my hell blasters. It's quite a way for them to go, but then I still need to defend that objective. So let's go on to the shooting phase and see what, if anything, the Drukhari can do. Shatfield missile, poison. dark lances, poison shots. Shatfield missile, dark lances, poison shots, go for it. Fives to hit, right? Poison shots, two hits. Oh, yeah. Force the wound. Two, two wounds. wounds. I'm in a crater. I have a two up save. I'm fine. And then the two dark lances hitting on fives. One. One hits. Oh, no. Threes to wound. And it wounds, and it's got four hull points left. This does d6 damage. I'm re rolling that. And so you re roll in, it's you're down to three command left. points left. And you do a three, <laughs> putting it down to one hull point left. Right. Assault d6 for the Shatterfield. Six. But you need fives to hit though, because he's a bit injured, this guy. He's a bit yeah. groggy. Fives. Nothing. Nothing, and the predator lives on one. Oh no, one minute. You've got a lance there. You've got the other flyer there. He's on one whole point left, and that flyer's spent. Lance on that then. The raider's doing it. Three's to hit. It's a hit. Three's to wound. It's a wound. And it's got. It's dead. It's on one whole point left. It's dead. Does it blow up on a six? And I haven't got any command points to re-roll this. If I get a six, it could hurt. Don't roll high. Close. The predator wipes out, but it does not explode, leaving a big gap that looks like this. Then we have this Venom kill one of these tactical marines, and now this flyer is doing the Dark Lancers and the Shatter Missile again on this vehicle, and the Splinter Guns on this unit of two. So, Splinter Guns. Ooh, no, it's good. One hit. No. no wounds. And now let's go on to the fun stuff. Two lances. Two hits. Threes to wound. One, One wound. D6 damage. Five hold points left. Four. Oh, it's always one. Putting it down to one. And it comes down to the missile again. <laughs> comes down to the missile again. D6 shots, you said? Yep. D6. One <laughs> shot. Hits on A3. Misses. Already rolled your command points for yeah. shooting. So that Razorback is alive and you fired all your lances. That lance, that lance, that, yeah, yeah. You yeah, fired all your anti-tank stuff. Hmm, interesting. Mm. Would you believe it? That's the end of the shooting phase. I've done such an amount of damage to the Dark Elder. They've got nothing left to shoot with. That is in range or line of sight. Of course, there's some split away from in the backfield, but out of range or line of sight. So now we're going on to the charge phase. And these racks are going to try and charge the Hell Blasters, who are going to overwatch. This is charging it first. That's charging it first. Well, I'll overwatch him first. Mm -hmm. The Hell Blasters managed to put one wound on this raider, and then Paul Ray's rolled a three for the charge range. So it fails the charge. These guys, however, are five inches away, so they only need a four to make the charge. What are you doing? 
I'm using one of these bad boys. Well, to re-roll the radar. Re-roll the one, really? yeah. Really? A radar? Okay, go for it. Oh, <laughs> the radar is definitely not in. The dice gods say they no. Say no. Now you need a four. They said don't be ridiculous. With your racks. Yeah, can the racks make it in? Yeah, they can. And they get they a five. They can re-roll as well. Uh, well, you they're in. They're in. They're in. Yeah, thanks, Paul. That's what we're going to get in there. Yeah, that's why you're doing it with the radar, because I get to watch again. Yeah, sixes. I get three sixes. Uh, two's to wound. Toughness five. One's to wound. <laughs> three's to wound. That's a wound minus four AP. I've in van I've and they feel no pain. Oh, yeah. I've lost a man. You've lost a man, but you can take one from the back. Just take a rack. And so you still get into combat. Mm. They make it through the room. We rolled for the homunculus as well, and he rolled a nine, so he gets into combat. We have four acts with the homunculus locking up these hell blasters. So let the battle for the cathedral commence. The racks are swinging first. This number of attacks, and they're hitting on twos now because of power from pain. And everything hits, and it's a four up uh, to wound because it's poisoned. And in the end, you get a lot of wounds. Damn. Okay, so what's that? Six, seven, seven saves I have to make with the Hell Blasters. They have a three-up save. Don't curse me, curse us. One takes a wound. They have two wounds each. Ooh. Surprisingly, the Holy Power Armor stands firm. But now let's see what the Homunculus can do. Homunculus has five attacks. He's hitting on twos. Uh, four hits, and he's wounding on fours because it's poisoned. And two. he has two wounds. I have two three-up saves. And one of them dies because it takes a wound, and one of them... Basically, one of the Hellblasters is dead. Then the Hellblasters pile in and punch back. Each of the Hellblasters has two attacks. The Sergeant has three. And I hit on threes. And that's bad. And your toughness five right now, right? So I need fives to wound. But I get three wounds. What's their save, these grotesque Uh, right. five plus. Okay, three five up saves. <laughs> Two. And a six up thingy bob power from pain. No. One. So one I does. kill one rack. This is the end of the combat there. Importantly, that stops me defending Objective 4 because there's more units, more guys. There's four guys within three inches of Objective 4 then. I've only got three. I'm not defending that. I won't get two points. Paul doesn't get two points for this one or this one yet because he hasn't defended them for two successive turns. But he does get D3 points for supremacy and the Emperor protects. He rolled a two, so that's only one extra point. So we're going into turn five, four now. Turn four, it's definitely turn four. I need to repel borders and hold the holy chapel down, this holy ruins, and I need to push back and push back hard. I've got him in the back foot here, but these flyers are causing me a hell of a lot of trouble. Predator's gone. This Razorback on one wound left. I am losing assets. The Drukhari are losing assets. Let's get down towards the end game now. Have more beer. We want to turn four. Okay, in my turn I ditch Psychological Warfare. I've got Defend of Objective 4 again. I need to clear the ruins. Secure Objective 3, which is way down in his table half. And Overwhelming Firepower, just shoot something to death. It's 5 points to 3. I need these, I need these points. Here we are after the movement phase for turn 4 for the 13th. This unit advancing up the table, looking at behind enemy lines later on. That's the objective I need to secure. Going to get nowhere near it. Overwhelming firepower, just kill stuff. Well, that's on three wounds. That's on one wound. And in the ruin, which I must defend, my Hellblasters have fallen back. They're still within three inches of that objective. And uh, they're going to throw as much firepower as they can. Because of Ultramine Chapter Tactics, you can fall back and shoot at minus one ballistic skill. One of the units has come around here to went, lend their firepower. The other unit moving up there. So the Flamer is in range of that flyer. The Tech Marine jumping up and over only rolled a one. So this Razorback is up to two wounds instead of a nice healthy five wounds, say. Uh, he'll be hitting on fives in a very crippled state. Oil is bleeding out of the side of his Rhino chassis and the Tech Marine is hastily trying to patch him up. 
Anyway, let's move on to the shooting phase. Looking for overwhelming firebat here, so intercessors into that flyer, forced to hit. And that's five hits, perfectly statistically average. Looking for fives, two wounds, minus one to your save, two five up and vulnerable saves, or he burns. He burns. He's gone. What? You've got two command points left, and you want to roll a five? No, I don't. That sounds silly. You can. Burn a command point. Burn a command point. Well, what else is it ever doing? You know, I, I might need a... Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do it. Do it. Oh! No. No. One command point left. Overwhelming firepower. Made him bend a... Bend? Spend a command point. Nice. With your cursed dice. With the cursed dice. Let's fire this thing into your racks because I can't shoot him because he's the closest. So this into the racks, yeah? Mm -hmm. Hitting on threes and re-rolling ones, and which is good because I've got five ones because I'm right next to Captain Kane. Look at that. Ten hits. Strength six, toughness five on your racks because of the homunculus. Threes to wound. That many wounds. They've got five from Vern though, right? Because it's minus one AP. That's yeah. seven wounds. Five ups and six ups. No, They're the racks are all wiped out. <clears throat> Which means yeah. the closest thing left to the Hellblasters, he's a character, but he's closest, is that homunculi. Let's burn him with plasma. I'm hitting on fours because I fell back. Ultra means chapter tactics, but they are within six inches of cane, so I'm re rolling. Ones. And there's four ones. Five ones. Those re rolls coming into effect. Well done, cane. Shouting orders over to the fox. Five hits. I'm wounding on threes. Yeah, strength five, isn't it? Toughness five. Yep, and that's three wounds minus four AP. Do they? Here's a five up and burn, does he, or something? Yeah. yeah. No, cool. So he fails all of them. And, and he fails all those as well. The homunculus has two wounds left. Now Kane will try and take him out. Hitting on twos. And strength four, toughness five, because he's in range of his own aura. Um, one wound. One five up and done. And one six up, feel no pain. He's down to one wound left. Then this tactical squad here are closer to the homunculi than that. Can't fire the flamer, out of range of the flamer, but hitting on threes with this shot, re-rolling one because of my captain. Everything hit. Fives to wound and re-rolling ones because of the lieutenant. Only two wounds, but he has one left. So two five up saves and you make them both. No! So with the Devastators, I'm diverting the bolt gun fire down there, all the bolt guns in rapid fire range, and then the heavy bolter and the LAS cannons at the radar. Bolters hitting on threes, and re-rolling ones, because I'm close to the captain. Uh, that's good. And then wounding on fives, and re-rolling ones because of the captain. So in the end... Five wounds caused on the homunculus. Now, can he say five times? He was lucky last time. Five ups. And six ups. Only two failed. Can you get roll two sixes? No. Can you? Can you? No, oh, you can't. You're on was... one. But oh, he's dead. That was the dice well. I should have re-rolled. That's the dice you should have re-rolled. No, I yeah. <laughs> But that's three units dead. That'll give me D3 points for overwhelming firepower. And now let's fire three LAS cannons at that radar. One with the Signum, hitting on a two, and the other's hitting on threes. They all hit, and then I'm going to be wounding on threes. Two wounds with two five up and vulnerable saves on your raider. I take it they have vulnerable saves. It seems like everything in your army does. Yep. Stop, roll it, and you make both of those. Both of those. I hit you a little bit right now. Heavy bolter, threes to hit. Rerolling ones. And I get three twos, so everything misses, and the raider just jinks right and left and avoids the firepower. So this injured razorback is going to have to do it. Fives to hit. That's terrible. Actually, five hits isn't that bad. Threes to wound. 
four wounds, minus one to your armor, so four, uh, four up saves, or five up saves. And that one's cocked. So that raider takes four wounds. And the assault bolt gun from him, twos, rerolling ones, it's two hits, and fives, nothing. Then this squad at the flyer, chuck a grenade on a six, that's a hit, uh, and a three to wound, that's a wound with a minus one save on that flyer, so a five up save, which you don't make, and a grenade does D6, D3 damage, does three damage on that flyer, that's nice, putting it down to five left, and then the flamer auto hits it D6 times, six times, six. Wounds on five. Four wounds on that flight. Is this it? Has their luck run out? Four four up saves. You fail all four. That drops the flyer down to one wound left. The flyer over there has been wiped out. I've cleared the castle back here. But all that raider has to do to stop me defending it, I've got this at the end of this turn, but all he has to do to stop me defending it for two turns is drop down. And then I can't defend it for two turns to get two points. Uh, but that's the end of my turn. That's good. And I get D3 points now for killing three things in the shooting phase. I really, really need big money here. And that's a five, so that's three points. That makes it six points to five in favour of the Space Marines. However, the Dark Elder have defended these objectives for uh, my turn and his turn, so they get four points for that, so it's nine points to six in favour of the Drukhari. They're in the lead by three points as we descend into game turn four for the Drukhari. All Paul needs to do is drop that raider down onto objective four to stop me defending it for two turns. Sacrificial raider, it's empty after all. And hopefully he gets a good draw. I say hopefully for him, but uh, yeah, I hope he's not going to get a good draw. And let's face it, he's got a flyer on one wound left, a raider he needs to sacrifice, and some little guys in the backfield. And that's it. That's all he has left. Maybe he hasn't got enough units left to start scoring and scoring and scoring. Maybe. Maybe the 13th with their allies from the second company will win this day. It's going to turn four for the Dark Eldar. The Cabal of the Last Hatred need to push back with what little forces they have. Secure objective two and four, both of which are controlled by the Space Marines. An area denial, make sure there's no enemy units within six inches of the center or 12 inches of the center. And there's Space Marines right on the center of the board. They mean to take ground away from the 13th. Let's see what they can do. Here's objective two, which the Dark Eldar cannot score. And there's objective four. I only have one guy within three inches of objective four. They can't score it, I can't score it either, but it stops me defending objective four. Fly, the injured flyer, one wound, trailing smoke going over there, venom coming around, and his warlord and the slith getting inside the venom and the venom hopping up and over here. Essentially, what we're looking at is in the entire Drukhari army is in their third of the battle grid. I've pushed them back, but they have achieved all their objectives so far. They're three points into the lead. It's a case of whether they can hang on to that before they get exterminated. Let's move on to the shooting phase. Two Dark Lancers from the Venom coming into the Razorback. Injured Razorback fires to hit. And you get two hits. Threes to wound. And both wound and they do d6 damage each. So that's a dead Razorback no matter what. On a six it blows up. And it blows up, and it does D3 mortal wounds to every unit within six, I think. It goes boom. So these guys take D3 mortal wounds. They're gone. They are gone. This unit takes D3 mortal wounds. One mortal wound. And the tech marine takes D3 mortal wounds. One mortal wound. Devastation in my lines. This is what it looks like when we're done. And before Paul fired, he declared everything from the uh, Razor Wing was going into its target. So it definitely killed it and killed a few things around it as well. So I would say that was uh, um, objective secured, mission received, something. I want to say something. Basically, it did its job. A bit drunk. 
Then the Raider fired at the Razorback, didn't do anything, missed it, so injured. Then fire from Venom number one and Venom number two and the Archon and the Slith took out two in this squad. And that's it, that's the end of Paul's turn. In the morale phase, I get to roll a d6, but if you're going to roll a 6, his leadership is, well, 4 plus 2 is 6. My leadership is 8. I don't lose anyone in the morale phase. That's the end of Drakari turn 4. They don't secure objective 2. They don't secure objective 4. But because these two marines died in the explosion, they do get a point for area denial, making it 10 points to 6. As we go to turn five, it could end at the end of this turn. Yes, the Dark Elder have very few units left, but uh, I am four points behind. So let's move on to Space Marines, turn five. Here are my orders. I ditch secure objective three. I've got to defend objective four in the castle one more time, in the ruin. Secure objective six, which the Dark Elder control and supremacy. Get any three objectives. I don't have three right now, but if I do, that will be D three points. Tricky stuff, but I might be able to pull it off. Right, here we are after my movement phase. I need to secure objective six. Now, this unit that was here advanced all the way around, and I'm within three inches of objective six. There are more Dark Eldar there than me, but with Defenders of Humanity, this troops unit have objective secured. That objective is mine, and I control it. And then the Razorback advance, the tactical squad jumped in it and it advanced up here. I control this one as well. The tech marine running up behind it and healing it. He had to advance as well, huff, huff, huffing his way and uh, spilling up, uh, mopping up all the oil spills. So I control that one, that one. I've got more models within three inches of that, of the Raider than the Raider has. So I am currently controlling four, but I need to kill it to defend that objective. And I've got this one back here. So hopefully I blow up. Hopefully you blow <laughs> up and kill some of my guys, yeah. Um, so I will get Supremacy and I will secure Objective 6, but that might not be enough points if the game ends on Turn 5. I need it to go on to Turn 6 or Turn 7. So let's pull the trigger and shoot some stuff. They advance, can't shoot. That advance, can't shoot. These guys can shoot the Venom or the... I need to kill the Raider. Let's kill the Raider. Let's rapid fire Hell Blasters into the side of that Raider. In the shooting phase, those units couldn't fire, so him and the lieutenant and them and the hell blasters fired everything into the side of that radar. It's got three hull points left. So what I'm going to do is fire all the rapid fire bolt guns down at it, and a heavy bolt and a las cannon. I need it dead. Heavy bolt and a las cannon, and then two other las cannons with the signum coming down at the warlords venom down here. Here's the bolters from the Devastators hitting on twos, re hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Uh, that many shots. Any fives to wound, rerolling ones. There's all those twos again. Uh, three wounds. It's got three left or four left. You make all the saves. Okay, fair enough. One last cannon and the heavy bolt. Let's do the heavy bolter. Um, they all hit fours to wound. One wound. And you save that as well. And one last cannon shot hits. Threes to wound. And that's a two. Rerolling ones. The raider survives. I do not defend that objective. That is really, really annoying. So two last cannons down here. Signum hits on a two. The other one hits on a three. And they wound on threes. Rerolling ones because the lieutenant. Two wounds on the venom, sir. Two five up saves. And you fail both. You fail both. 2d6 damage. Seven. It dies. Seven damage. It's got three left. Does it blow up in a six? No. No. And there's two guys inside. And on ones? No. No. So the venom is popped. The archon and the sleuth are out. That's the end of my turn. So they have disembarked there. It's 10 points to 6. I get a point for that. 10 points to 7. And D3 points for supremacy with no command points in my hand. Need a 5 or 6. I get a 5. It's 10 points to 10. The Dark Eldar want to secure objective 4, 5 and domination with the few units that they have left. 
Now, domination is score every objective, which isn't going to happen. And four, I'm afraid, isn't going to happen. But five is there. Is a given. Is a given. It's if a you gift. get that and the game ends, you win. In the movement phase, the Dark Elder, the Drukari are clustered in the back corner. A razor wing going over here, Venom coming in close to deal with these, and the Archon and the Slith poised to throw shots down. These two units staying onto these objectives back here. They're holding on there, they've achieved their mission. They just need to score this one last objective and then withdraw before they get decimated by the Astartes. And here we are at the end of game turn five. The tactical squad there were wiped out and blast of fire and injured dark glance fire from this smoking steaming one wound razor wing has taken this razor back down to five hard points left. That's all that happened in the backfield. And the raider shot and charged into these hell blasters. No damage done to either side. So they are locked up there and you get a point for securing objective five. So it's 11 points to 10, and the player who goes first rolls a dice, and I don't have any command points left. And on a one, two, you've achieved your mission. Can you use command you've points won. for end turn? Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can, yeah. Use it for end turn. On a one, two, you've achieved your mission, and you slink off into the shadows from whence you came. It ends. This is the way the world ends. And with that, the Cabal of the Last Hatred retreat, fleeing, screaming back from whence they came. It was so close. The second company, their debut on the channel, nearly managed to rinse them, nearly managed to take them out. I do like this combination here, the lieutenant and the captain. What do you think of that, Paul? That I was, like it. I want one. I know it's only re-rolling <laughs> ones to hit and ones to wound, but there were so many times where I converted those things and uh, managed to do the damage that I did. The thing that this list is lacking, though, is the ability to get back here. Need more hell blasters. Uh, may, the Devastators help combine as well, I think, not Hell Blasters, these guys are Hell Blasters. Get rid of the Hell Blasters, I think, and get some of those Jump Dudes to come in and so havoc back here. Nice little shooty castle, going boom, 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 with the rerolls, and then some mobility as well would have definitely, definitely helped me. Thunderfire Cannons have gone to minus one AP one more time in the new codex, so... Thunderfire Cannons are back. I'll be using them one more time. I haven't used them since I used them for on the very first game and was deeply, dis deeply disappointed because I quite like them. So they can fire indirectly. They can fire at units they can't see, like these buggers hiding under this thing here. That would have helped me as well. An ability to get back and affect stuff in the back lines or affect stuff that's out of line of sight, plus the ability to support your castle. It was good, but you won. You did some damage, you uh, achieved your mission. Dark Elder are strong in this edition. What are you thinking of Dark Elder now? Well, I, I, I'm thinking, you know, they do hit quite hard, but they also still, I mean, they still get smashed, but I, I'm feeling it's a little bit more balanced from what it was. Can't one shot a Venom anymore. No. A missile launcher of Venom manages to take it. These guys firing again and again and again. Your Razor Wings would have been dead before in a previous edition, but this one is still flying. One shot in tanks, you've got to think, all the amount of Dark Lances I have to start with and how many Rhino esque kind of vehicles you've got, they used to go bang quite easily. They did, they did, but nothing went pop. You, yeah, you never really brought so many. No. But nothing went pop like the pop of Dark Eldar vehicles. They were the paperest of paper in the game. Mm. They're not anymore. They have some resilience to them. And when you bring those racks in, those Toughness 5 racks as well, it just, you've got toughness. You didn't have toughness before. Yeah. And you've got it now. And you win this game. Two games with the racks does make me want to venture off to that kind of Hellraiser, Circus, Freak, version, you know, side of. The, the, the I would like to see some racks and some homunculus covens and some pain engines, that Hellraiser type thing going on. That would be cool. Anyway, you spoiled the party, the debut of the second company on the channel. You have ruined their day, but I think they made a good account of themselves. Oh my god, they made a great impression. Thank you.
Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Happy walking.